Hi guys, today's lecture is on special equations. Now this is an interesting topic which comes under the algebra section. It is merely an extension of linear equations in two variables. But what makes it so special? Here we only know one equation and some more information is given that will restrict the number of solutions. In linear equations we have two equations for two variables. And so on solving them we get a unique solution. But here one may get or may not get a unique solution but a multitude of solutions. So let's see what is this chapter all about. So let's take an example. Let's say we have an equation x plus 3y equal to 90. Now this equation has infinite solutions. So the values of x and y satisfying this equation would be infinite. But if we talk about the number of non-negative integral solutions, then that would be limited. So now a little hit and trial would give us the first solution as x equal to 0 and y equal to 30. So this is the first pair of x and y that satisfies this equation. Now the next solution would be 3 comma 29. So x equal to 3 and y equal to 29 satisfies particular equation. Similarly, the next set would be 6, 28 and so on up to 90, 0. Now, as we have to find out the number of the non-negative integral solutions would include only the positive integral values and 0. So, 0 is also included in the set of values which satisfy this equation. Now, what pattern do you see here? We see that 0 and 3, 3 and 6 are at a common difference of 3 or we can say that the values of x are at a common difference of 3 while if we look at the values of y then we can observe that these values are at a common difference of 1 unit. So we can see that the values of x are at a common difference of 3. Now what exactly is 3 over here? 3 is the coefficient of y. And similarly, if we look at the values of y, then they are at a common difference of 1. And what is 1? 1 is the coefficient of x. So, we can say that in this particular example, the values of x would be at a common difference of 3 units, which is basically the coefficient of y. And the values of y would again be in arithmetic progression, with the common difference being the coefficient of x. So, what we can say here is, here we have 31 non-negative integral solutions as the values of y vary from 0 to 30 and they are at a common difference of 1. So, this would give us 31 non-negative integral solutions. In general, what we can say is, if we have an equation ax plus by equal to c, then the values of x would be at a common difference of b which is nothing but the coefficient of y and similarly the values of y would be at a common difference of a and a is here the coefficient of x. So here we see that this was an equation in which we are adding two terms. Basically you can see that this equation is like sum of two numbers and the sum of these two numbers is a constant. And these values would increase at a common difference depending on the coefficients of x and y. Now let's take one more example. Let's say we have an equation 2x plus y equal to 100. And we are supposed to find out the number of non-negative integral solutions. As we can see that the coefficient of x is 2 and the coefficient of y is 1. So we can definitely say that the values of x would be in arithmetic progression with the common difference of 1 because the coefficient of y is 1 and similarly the values of x would be at a common difference of 2. Now what we need to do first is find the first solution that satisfies this equation. So if we put x equal to 0 then y comes out to be equal to 100. So we can say that first solution to this equation could be 0, 100. Now as the values of x would be at a common difference of 1 unit and the values of y would be at a common difference of 2 units. 
So, if x is equal to 1, y would be equal to 98. We reduce 100 by 2 units. Similarly, the next solution would be 2 comma 96 and so on up to 50 comma 0. See, we have obtained the solution of 50 comma 0 by making y equal to 0 and this would be the last solution. So, we can say that all these solutions satisfy this particular equation 2x plus y equal to 100 and we are only interested in finding the non-negative integral solutions. Non-negative means excluding all the negative integers. So, we can say that there are in all 51 non-negative solutions as the values of x start from 0 and end at 50 and they are at a common difference of 5. In case if we had an equation of the form ax minus by equal to c then again the values of x would be at a common difference of b units and the values of y would be at a common difference of a units. The only difference being that if we increase the values of x, then we have to also increase the values of y. If we decrease the values of x, we have to decrease the values of y again. Let us solve an example. Find the number of natural number solutions to the equation 4x plus 6y equal to 400. Again, we have got only one equation that is 4x plus 6y equal to 400 and we have to find out the number of natural number solutions. Now, what is a natural number? Natural number is basically all the integers starting from 1. That is, we exclude all the negative integers and also 0. Now, one can see that the coefficient of x is 4 and the coefficient of y is 6. So, the values of x must be at a common difference of 6 units. But this is wrong basically because here we can say that these two numbers 4 and 6 are not co-prime or they are not relatively prime to each other. So, what we have to do first is we have to make these two numbers 4 and 6 relatively prime to each other. So, if we divide this equation by 2, what we get is 2x plus 3y equal to 200. Now, these two numbers 2 and 3 are co-prime to each other. Now, again the same logic, if we increase the values of x, then we have to decrease the values of y and vice versa. And also, the values of x would be at a common difference of 3. 3 because the coefficient of y here is 3 and the values of would be at a common difference of 2 and 2 being the coefficient of x. So, now the first thing is, we need to find out the first solution. Now, clearly we can see that 2x is a multiple of 2 and 200 is also a multiple of 2. So, 3y should also be a multiple of 2 which means if we put y equal to 0 then we will get 100 comma 0 as one of the solutions satisfying this equation. And on the basis of what we have studied earlier, the other solutions would be 97 comma 2 because values of x are at a difference of 3 units and the values of y at a difference of 2 units. Similarly, another solution would be 94 comma 4 and so on. Now, we have to find out the last solution that satisfies this equation. Now, one can see that 197-94 are at a common difference of 3 units. At the same time, these numbers are of the form 3k plus 1. So, here if we put k equal to 0, we get one solution as 1 comma 66 and this would be the last solution. Thus, we can say that all these values or all these solutions are satisfying this particular equation 2x plus 3y equal to 200. Now, as we have to find out only the natural number solutions we need to exclude all the solutions which are not natural numbers. Here we can say that the values of x start from 1 and end at 100, where all these values are in the form of 3k plus 1. When we put k equal to 0, we get 1 and when we put k equal to 33, we get the value of x as equal to 100. So, we can say that the value of k starts from 0 
and it ends at 33 which means there are 34 such solutions. So we can say we get 34 non-negative solutions. If instead of the natural number solutions it, it were asked non-negative solutions then our answer would be 34. But here this particular case of 100 comma 0 we can see that the value of y is equal to 0 which means we have to exclude this solution and thus we get 33 natural number solutions. Let's proceed to one more example. Let's say we have to find out the number of natural number solutions for the equation 7x plus 12y equal to 215. Now the equation given to us is 7x plus 12y equal to 215. Definitely the values of x should be in an arithmetic progression with the common difference being 12. 12 is the coefficient of y. And similarly, the values of y must be in an arithmetic progression with the common difference being 7 which is the coefficient of x. Now here we have to find out the number of natural number solutions. So the first thing what we need to do is we need to first identify the first solution. So the first step in solving any special equation is to identify the first solution. And then based on this concept that the values of x would be a, at a common difference of b units and similarly for y, we can identify the number of solutions. So now what we can do is we can write this equation as 7x equal to 215 minus 12y. We have transposed 12y to the other side of the equation. Now if we look at the LHS which is 7x, we can say that this number is a multiple of 7. So the left hand side of the equation is a multiple of 7 which would imply that the RHS should also be a multiple of 7. Now what we need to do is we have to break this number 215 minus 12y in such a way that we get one part as a multiple of 7 and the other part we need to make it a multiple of 7. So we can say we can write this equation as LHS is again 7x and we have written it as 210 minus 7y plus 5 minus 5y. Basically 210 is a multiple of 7, 7y is also a multiple of 7 which would further mean that we need to make 5 minus 5y a multiple of 7. So here we need to identify the value of y which would make 5 minus 5y as a multiple of 7. So the smallest value of y which would make this expression a multiple of 7 would be 1. If we put y equal to 1 then we get this part as 0 which would mean that this is a multiple of 7. Thus if y is equal to 1 then we get the value of x as equal to 29. So we can say that the first solution for 7x plus 12y equal to 215 is 29,1. So the first value is 29 and the first value of y is 1. Now the other solutions would be 17,8 and 5,15. Simply we subtract 12 from 29 to get 17 as the values of x must be at a common difference of 12. And similarly we get the values of y at a common difference of 7 units. And as we are reducing the values of x we need to increase the values of phi. So these are the three solutions. Thus we can say that these values of x are at a common difference of 12 and so we can say that there are only three natural number solutions to the equation 7x plus 12y equal to 215. Now let's move to the last problem. It is a word problem. It says that if the cost of one pen is rupees 17 while that of one eraser is rupees 13 then how many pens and erasers can a person buy for rupees 279 now clearly this is an example of special equation because we only know one equation in our earlier linear equations we are given or we have to form two equations and then solving them we get unique solution but here only one equation would be formed which is let us say that the number of pens and erasers bought are x and y respectively. So we have bought x number of pens and y number of erasers. So according to the condition, 
we can say 17x plus 13y is equal to 279 and we need to find out the values of x and y. Now there could be multiple values of x and y satisfying this equation. So we need to figure out what these values are. So let's calculate the first solution. For that the given equation is 17x plus 13y equal to 279. We can further write it as 13y equal to 279 minus 17x. We have moved this term to the RHS. Now if we see that LHS is a multiple of 13 which means the RHS should also be a multiple of 13. For that we can break this equation as 273 minus 13x plus 6 minus 4x. Clearly 273 is a multiple of 13 and 13x is also a multiple of 13 which would mean we have to make 6 minus 4x a multiple of 13. Also this term could be further written as twice of 3 minus 2x and we have to make it a multiple of 13. Now clearly 2 is not a multiple of 13 which means 3 minus 2x should necessarily be a multiple of 13 and we have to identify the smallest value of x which would make this term a multiple of 13. So if we put x equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on this doesn't become a multiple of 13 but as soon as we put x equal to 8 this becomes a multiple of 13. So the smallest value of x is equal to 8 and for that we get the corresponding value of y equal to 11. So 8 comma 11 is our first solution. Now the values of x must be at a common difference of 13 and the values of y must be at a common difference of 17. So if we reduce 11 by 17 to find the values of y, we would get a negative value and this is not possible as x and y should be natural number solutions or whole number solutions. So we get only one solution that is number of pins is equal to 8 and number of erasers is equal to 11 that can be bought with rupees 279. Now this was all about our chapter on special equations and I really hope you got the understanding of how to solve them. If you like the video, do subscribe, like and share it. Thank you.